Jess here. Just wanted to say before I do my questions that it's been really nice uh, convening with you guys and you're really nice and been really welcoming so thank you for that especially with what's been going on recently if, if you know. Thank you, you're a lovely. Um, so I'm going to answer some questions. Um, so I'll start from the top. I really hate being on camera by the way so this, yeah, anyway, wine, wine ensues. Mm. Sorry. Loren Moxley says, uh, I, hope, I hope I said that right, uh, it says, what's the best and worst movie you've seen in the theatres of the year if applicable? Well, we agreed that I, I haven't been to the cinema really this year because I can't afford it. So we said in general, and I used to work in the cinema, so I watched a lot of films back then. So I think the worst film I've ever seen in the cinema is Friends with Benefits. I saw it because it was free and a bunch of us wanted to go literally because we can go to the cinema for free so we thought why the fuck not so we did and then I found out why the fuck not because it was terrible don't ever watch it <laughs> um, best film I've ever seen in cinema um, I'm a massive Lord of the Rings buff so I'd be pretty stupid not to say Lord of the Rings but um, best experience I've ever had in, Lord of the, uh, in, in the cinema sorry Yes, when I used to work there in Aylesbury, which is my hometown, we used to get a bunch of us um, just go at like one o'clock in the morning or something when the whole cinema had closed down, uh, well, just closed for the night, and we just put any 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 film on we wanted. That was fun, but I'm not sure that counts. So, um, Cami says uh, <laughs> pros and cons of knowing someone personally. Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's any cons with knowing someone personally, unless they're actually an asshole. So, um, so if they're an asshole, then that's all the cons you need. Apart from that, then that's fine. My arms are looking really fat. Anyway, um, Chris Lazaro says, "What got me into heavy and music?" Uh, my I like to call it my Virgin band. So the first band I ever listened to to put me onto that kind of stuff was Nirvana and um, I was obsessed with them like I had all the posters all the box sets singles albums I had a six foot rug with just Kirk Bain's face on it uh, you know but I in the same time you know I owe I a lot to them you know because if it wasn't for them then I wouldn't be here today um, I might not even be here today so <laughs> so Cammy's asked me a lot of questions now uh, and some of them are really hard to answer. So, um, if you could only travel to one place in the world for the rest of your life, where would you choose? Uh, I don't know. Somewhere I can walk and walk and walk. So, pff, either New Zealand or America, because New Zealand is obviously beautiful. Um, but America, there's just so many different types of places in America, because, like, you can go on one side and the other side, and it's completely different. Well, I've never been, but that's where I'm. That's what I'm assuming, anyway. So one of those two. Plus, you can walk in America, like in England. It's obviously quite a lot smaller than America, so <laughs> and shitter. But uh, oh well. What body part do you want most tattooed slash pierced? Not the tongue split, because I already know that. Um. Uh. Well, I'm planning on getting my microdermal into a triangle, but I think the most thing I want pierced is probably my VCH, and I'll leave that up to your imagination. And um, and most tattooed, probably I want my nape piece done by a guy called Dylan Forte or Dylan Fort. I can't remember. He lives in America, but he's coming over to England for a tattoo convention soon, and it's going to cost a fucking bomb. But I don't know when the next chance I'm going to be able to see him again is. So. Yeah. And then she asked me a really hard one. What would be your ideal tattoo if you could only pick one? I'm gonna cheat with this answer and say a full <laughs> a full arm and back piece all joined up together, which is a massive cheat, but I wanna get covered in tattoos and if that's the only one that I can get, then that's the only one I can get. Um, if you could have any other name in the world, what name would you choose? I actually hate my name. 
and I've been thinking about this a lot and I really want to get my name changed but I've got no idea what I, get, what I want to get it changed to surname wise pff, Hunt no offence it rhymes with cunt no one wants a no one wants a name like that so um, so I've got no idea for surname but um, but my first name I don't know I really like the name Imogen so um, do you think you'd be able to let go of all material things for Buddhism if you pick that as your lifestyle choice in the future it is actually on my bucket list I do want to immerse myself in spirituality just for a set amount of time maybe not I don't know how long for, however feel, how long feels right at the time, I guess. Um, so yeah, I would give up smoking, give up drinking, and everything else, and and all material objects as well. That's probably the most important thing. But like, like as a lifestyle choice instead of just a period of time, I'd say I'd say I probably would. But if I got the balls to do it first, like, I'd have to prepare myself for it, but I probably would. Um, where do you see yourself ideally in five years? Ideally in five years, I want to be an accomplished body piercer that's taken some time out of, out of work and fucked off to some different country somewhere. So, physically, I've got no idea where I want to be in five years because I want to be in some other country, wherever it fancies. Um, Realistically, where do, I, where do I see myself in five years? Uh, probably going, I wish I was a body piercer. And <laughs> being in England, <laughs> probably living with my mum. But let's work hard not to do that, okay? <laughs> um, who do you aspire to or respect the most? Um, that, that's a hard one. Like, there are so many people that I res aspire to and respect. Like, anyone that's a hard worker, Anyone that was living their dream, or at least working towards living their dream. Um, most people in the music industry, because it is really hard to get into, and, and body piercing and stuff is really hard to get into. So, you know, all the hard shit, you know. Um, what invention do you wish existed but doesn't and why? A teleportation device. So then I could just say, I'm going here now, poof. I'd never be late for meeting up with people in the pub ever again. So, uh, if you won the lottery, what would you do with the money? Um, go travelling, obviously. Um, I would probably uh, buy a flat in London. Uh, obviously, give some of it to my family and friends and um, and charity as well. Obviously, like go shopping, uh, get really drunk, <laughs> um, yeah, but mostly just go on a however lo however many year long ho holiday, um, and if you could bring anyone back from history to life, who would you pick? I originally said Kurt Cobain so I could jump his bones, but now I say probably Bob Marley because he could sort shit out because he was a legend. Uh, okay. So Katie Ketchum says, what originally got you interested in body modification? Uh, well, there was this girl at my school, and it's weird because I actually hated her, uh, and she was called Teresa, and she was a bitch actually, but but she had all these piercings, even though we were only like 14 years old, and I just, I just thought that they looked really cool, like I hated her, but I always liked the way that like her face, she had face and ears going on. And I always thought that that was really cool, so I so I got that. And um, I'm surprised I, I even like body modification now, because like when I first got my ears pierced, the piercing gun I was 11. Well, the piercing gun got stuck on my ears, and she yanked it really hard, and it happened on both ears. And the pain was so like weird. I'd never felt anything like that before. I actually fainted and got the piercings for free. So yeah, but. Yeah, I've just always loved the look of them ever since I was... Actually, no, it would be less than 14. No, sorry. About 9 or 10. I forgot about that, yeah. Do I believe in re reincarnation? Why, why not? I like to think that reincarnation exists. To be honest, I don't even know what happens. And I find it quite blissful not knowing what happens. Like, um... It would be great to be reincarnated. Um, obviously, I'd rather not come back as a frog or anything like that. But um, 
I think I think generally it's quite cool um, and I like the whole idea of like being really good and one day escaping to Nirvana you know uh, but at the same time afterlife seems pretty cool as well so I'm quite open minded when it comes to stuff like that I don't really want to set myself in one belief uh, Marshall says my mum yes or no yes of course because she's a legend and um, we drink together we talk about personal stuff with each other we have got stoned together I'm quite open with her I bought some magic mushrooms the other day and I showed them to her and she says oh let me know how it goes <laughs> so she, she's quite open minded the same as I am so she's really cool so definitely a yes um, Kimmy says would you feel nervous if you're about to meet any of us in person for the first time my answer is absolutely no because I love meeting new people and all of you guys seem really awesome so far and I don't have any shit with any of you so no let the drinks roll like it's gonna be fun uh, Cammy describe my ideal partner I don't have a type um, obviously on the inside like uh, nice funny caring actually wants to talk to me and wants to spend time with me that would be an important thing um, uh, looks wise like I said, I don't have a type. Ideally, uh, tall, dark, handsome, piercings, tattoos, that kind of, you know, that kind of stuff. But it's what's inside that counts more. So, <laughs> Kimmy says, what would you usually think? What do you usually think about when you're like on the bus, train, anywhere, when you're on your own for a certain amount of time? Well, I did some work at a merch store for Disney the other day, and I had no customers. So I was just stood there thinking and thinking and um, basically if I'm in a building I like to think of two things. One of its party potential and see how good a fucking party you can throw in there. Two, sorry if I'm swearing too much by the way, it's, I, I've got a foul mouth. Two, um, how well that, would, that building would withstand during a zombie apocalypse and um, who I would like with me and what I would like with me. But when I'm on the train, sometimes I like to look at people and wonder what they look like naked. Honestly, I'm not lying. Like, I think everyone does that, it's just whether you admit it or not. Um, would I, Marshall says, would I star in a chicks of 100% fuzzy porno? Um, the ladies here and the men are here are all very beautiful. But I would like to actually meet you for five minutes first, so ask me later. <laughs> Marshall says, Ozzy or Metallica? Pick one. Metallica. Um, Spencer says, Religious stance and why? I love religion. You can probably tell I've got two Buddhas behind me and I've got a Ganesh tattoo on my leg. So, I love religion. I've, like, not that I follow any religion, but I just find it really interesting to read up about the symbolism. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it when people, uh, pressure you into it and like preach it to you and like people coming up to my door and saying oh talk to Jesus I'm like fuck off I hate that um, but I also equally hate um, in fact I probably hate more people that are atheists and say oh you're so stupid for having a religion you've got no idea you know you're such an idiot well I say that if someone doesn't believe in anything then that's fine if someone does believe in something then that's fine I don't have any bother with anyone with any stance, so I, I, re I really, it's up to you, but personally I find it fascinating, though I would never be in a religion, I love reading about it, stuff like that. Would you date me? Spencer, we have something in common, I don't like wearing shirts at home either, uh, so yes I would date you, uh, I'm in a video now so that's uh, why I'm wearing a shirt. <laughs> Biggest fear? The ocean? Um, spiders um, uh, uh, fear of failure actually yeah and getting old I don't want to get old ever so um, biggest fear and any phobias they kind of go two and two do you prefer the night or the day I'm a massive night owl so prefer the night though I love the Sun everything happens at night though doesn't it really so yeah, then I've got a shitload of questions from Sanam, so 
Would you get gay for Ricky Martin or Lance Bass? Uh, Ricky Martin because he uh, stings like a... No, he smells like a flower, but he stings like a bee, so... Yeah, Ricky Martin. What came first, the chicken or the waffle? Everyone knows that chickens are man-made, so uh, waffles is a more natural... Probably came first was a waffle. Um, your favourite musician turned into a goat. Would you still listen to them? I'm just imagining Tool. Well, technical music was a... <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'd still listen to it just for the lols, probably. Uh, has the base god fucked you, bitch? Um, I don't actually know anything about this whole base god thing. Like, I've only seen it in this group, and I'm fairly new, so I, you know. But if he's as good as everyone says he is, then, yeah, why not? Uh, what the fuck is in England? Uh, nice real ale beer, drunk at room temperature which I hear is strange for you American folk. Um, tractors, fields, farmers, cows, and a lot of cow poop on the floor, um, hills, uh, and, and, and beer. Yeah, well, at least that's all I know is in England. <laughs> uh, anybody you wish to see drop, sto uh, drop soap? Uh, Brandon Boyd. Mm. Uh, if your favourite breakfast food clashed with your favourite lunch, what, who would win? I don't like breakfast, so and I don't really eat lunch either, so probably dinner was... Uh. Who would you rather fight, Motley Crue or Rat, or R-A-T-T? -T? I don't know who R-A-T-T -T is, but I know that Motley Crue, well, they were be brutal, but they're not anymore, they're really old now, so I'll probably fight them. But make sure that they're all on drugs first, so they're all really docile. How did I get my groove back? This is how I got my groove back. This is how you always get your groove back. Mm. Um, have I ever been to B? I don't know what B is, so... Can you taste swag? If swag comes close enough to me that I can taste it, then I can. It doesn't happen very often, though, because you're all in other places, so... Thoughts on mayo? It's evil, right? Yes, it is fucking evil. I hate mayonnaise. It's disgusting. Never eat it. Regular Oreos or blonde Oreos? Never had an Oreo. Not a sweet tooth. Don't like chocolate. Don't like ice cream. Well, ice cream's okay, like once a year or something, but... I... Um, something in England that will never be in America? A monastery, which is a good thing for you, because the royals are fuckheads. Uh, where will you be? When, when the Hu Cha Cha Chow comes, you know, the China power. Um, I don't know. Maybe still here. Who, I don't know. Do I have a Taco Bell or a KFC? Probably a KFC. I don't think they're very nice for their chickens, but I don't know anything about Taco Bell, so. Have I ever tried the Pussy Energy drink? No, I have not. Um, but I hear that Pussy tastes very nice, so maybe. <laughs> maybe. Best live show you have ever been at? Um, Tool. It's an interesting one, actually. I bought a standing ticket at Brixton Academy, and I'm sure I bought a standing ticket. And I went over to the standing bit, and they said that I was not allowed in because I bought a seating ticket. But because I was only the third person in, in the whole queue, uh, it was first come, first serve for the seats, so I got third row, because the first two rows were behind... Um, uh, the first two rows were band guests. So I was sat directly behind Kelly Osborne, apparently. I was too busy looking at the band. And um, and she got taken away for being too drunk, apparently. But two of my favourite bands, they put on such a good show that I saw them and um, it was it was actually refreshing to actually be able to see the band because I'm only five foot four. Normally I get stuck in some guy's sweaty armpit. So, so yeah, that was. It was good. I tried to record a video of it on my phone and then I... Uh, this huge bouncer came up to me and tried to kick me out because of it. Uh, so I was just like, okay, it's deleted. <laughs> Don't kick me out, please. Um, whose butt would you touch the most in this group? Uh, I have... Don't know. I don't want to have any favouritism going on. I would touch all of the butts. All of the butts seem very nice. Especially the ones that were wiggling on the camera. Top-notch stuff. Uh, would you rather get hit by a pistol shrimp or sunk, stung by six bees? Killer bees. Well, I don't know if pistol shrimp can kill me, but the killer bees can kill me. So, 
I'm going to say it, a pistol shrimp, because there still might be a chance that it would be okay. Um, fight the Wu-Tang Clan or Shaolin. I don't know the difference. Wu-Tang Clan. Christian, would you sex me? Serious. Well, we are going to get married, so I think we should wait after that. But, yes, of course, you know. Kavan, you're going to have to fight this one out, but... If I don't get married, then yes. Uh, and then I've got like two more or something here. Uh, Kavan always says, also says, um, favorite band tool. What is the meaning of life? I think the meaning of life is what you make it. Uh, it's up to you. Different philosophies. Uh, mine is just to have a lot of fun, because um, well, we don't know, but as far as we know, we're only going to be here once, so. Leave it to the best as you can, no matter what makes you happy, just do that. Um, and be nice to people. Uh, why are people dumb? Um, because people get fed shit by the media. All this X Factor stuff, all of this celebrity, oh my god, Tulisa just got pregnant, or whatever. Uh, that's what makes people dumb, because people are so obsessed with the stupid things in life and they forget what's actually real. That's what makes people dumb, because they don't care about the real shit. They care about this, like, shallow society. Uh, I could go on for hours about this, uh, but I won't bore you. Um, where would you go if I could? Uh, everywhere. Everywhere. Um, I want to go everywhere. Um, mostly um, India, China, um, New Zealand. Um, but really, everywhere. Like... Uh, what would you do if you could do anything? I'm not sure if this counts for the laws of physics or not. Um, <laughs> fly? Teleport? Um, other than that, realistically, win the lottery and then the possibilities are endless. You know, be a body piercer. Or be a, well, it would be great to be a tattoo artist, but I gave up drawing when I was younger. And Matthew says, what favourite piercing do I have? Um, at the moment, it's probably my vertical labret. Um, because everyone talks about it when they see me. Not many people have it over here, anyway. Um, uh, but I love it. But I also love my double nose, and I love my septum, and I love all of them. I love my stretches as well. I, I love them all, but probably this one. But anyway, that's all my questions. And I've just seen it's gone for over 22 minutes. So I do apologise if this has been boring. But this has been very nerve-wracking for me, so I'm going to go. Thank you for watching.